in Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. The Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Close your eyes. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. My life shall not disgrace heaven. In the name of Jesus, my life shall not disgrace heaven. In the name of Jesus, my life shall not disgrace heaven. In Jesus' name. We are looking on a very important topic. Dream about buying a new Bible. Dream about buying a new Bible. Did you see yourself buying a new Bible? Or you saw yourself in a Christian bookshop buying a Bible for yourself or buying a Bible for someone else in the dream? We are going to tell the biblical interpretations and the meanings. Not everybody likes to receive the Holy Bible as a gift. And not everybody likes to read the Bible. Bible contains the Word of God. It is the Word of God that strengthens our faith and heals our situation. To dream about buying a new Bible is a good revelation. It means God wants you to study your Bible immediately when you wake up from your bed. Maybe you are struggling to read God's Word. Maybe you don't like reading the Bible. So a dream of going to the Bible bookshop and get a Bible, it means now is the time to receive God's Word in your life. Now is the time to be friendly with the Word of God in order to grow your faith and ensure your victory. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, the Bible says, The Word of God is used for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and for instruction in righteousness, so that you can be equipped for every good work. Dreams of buying a new Bible in a Christian bookshop tells you to open your mind so that you can understand the scripture better. Buying a new Bible in the dream could also indicate that you are reading the Bible to strengthen your relationship with God. Perhaps you may be a born-again Christian. Your dream of buying a new Bible represents your desire to hear from God. Maybe God wants to speak with you in His Word in that week or during that day. Reading the Bible means that you are growing spiritually. It also means that you need to take your Bible reading seriously, irrespective of your mood. If you are hearing a Bible verse in a dream, if you can remember the particular Bible verse, please read it, even if the verse is incorrect. That is, if you see Psalm chapter 1, verse 300, please read the whole of chapter 1, because there could be a line of words God wants you to read for your blessings and victory. Buying a Bible in a dream might also indicate a need to buy a Bible for someone in the real life. This dream can also mean that you need to be serious with your spiritual life. Are you going to church frequently? Do you pray and read your Bible regularly? Do you have a Bible as a child of God? Do you frequently listen to sermons? Do you attend weekly programs of your local church? If your answer to this question is no, then this could be one of the reasons you are dreaming of seeing yourself in a Christian bookshop trying to buy the Bible. In conclusion, dreams of buying the Bible gives you the privilege to study God's Word and hide it in your heart. With this, your faith and passion for the things of God will increase over time. May God give you the power to take your spiritual life seriously and give you the grace as well to praise the word of God to the right people in Jesus' name. Instruction, read the following Bible verses. Romans chapter 10 verse 17, Psalm 107 verse 20, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2, Psalm 119 verse 114, Psalm 119 verse 130, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, Luke chapter 24 verse 45, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, Romans chapter 1 verse 16, Joshua chapter 8 verse 47. Close your eyes. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. I open my mind to receive the word of God into my heart. In the name of Jesus. I open my mind to receive the word of God into my heart. In the name of Jesus. I open my mind to receive the word of God into my heart. In the name of Jesus. I open my mind to receive God's word into my heart. In the name of Jesus. I open my mind to receive God's word into my heart, in Jesus' name. Father, I need the grace to take God's word seriously, in the name of Jesus. Father, I need the grace to take God's word seriously, in the name of Jesus. Father, I need your grace to take your words seriously, in the name of Jesus. Father, I need the grace of God to take God's word seriously, in Jesus' name. I rebuke and counsel every spiritual attack against my faith, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and counsel every spiritual attack against my faith in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and counsel every spiritual attack against my faith in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and counsel every spiritual attack against my faith in Jesus' name. So, O oh Lord, show me the words to meditate on in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, show me or reveal the words to meditate on in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, show me 
or reveal the words to meditate upon in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, show me or reveal the words to meditate upon in Jesus' name. Father, help me to hear your word so that it can grow in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to hear your word so that it can grow in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to hear your word so that it can grow in my life. Help me to hear your word so that it can grow in my life. Help me to hear your words so that it can grow in my life. Help me to hear your words so that it can grow in my life in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let the word of God be part of my daily life in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the words of God be part of my daily life in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the words of God be part of my daily life in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the words of God be part of my daily life. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.